Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, today we are going to make our adorable little marshmallow people. Y'all, I love these so much. If you have not, okay, it's been a year since we made these, so I figured I have a lot of new subscribers, so thank you and welcome. And then maybe some of you didn't see that video, but you've seen me like decorate with them. They are so cute to decorate with for every holiday and season. They are adorable on tier trays. We just made some little like little benches for them. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. And what started my obsession with these are the little ceramic ones. So I have the ceramic ones from Amazon. I paid, I think I paid about $20 for mine. Um, I will link them down below if you're interested in the ceramic ones and you get a four pack. You get two without the melted chocolate or hair, and then you get two with the melted chocolate, and they have little different faces. And those are so cute. I love them. But I wanted to like, but I wanted to make some that anyone could do. Anyone on a budget, anyone could go to Dollar Tree and just for a couple dollars, they could make their own, and then we can decorate them. So also, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the adorable little hats, like little toppers for them. Now, if you were to go to Etsy or like at Amazon, one little hat can cost you anywhere from 10 to $20. I mean, they are pricey little hats. So I'm gonna show you how to make them using Dollar Tree items. And I do not know how to crochet, but it kinda has that little crocheted look to it. So you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some foam dice from Dollar Tree, and I use balloons. You can do paint if you want, but paint one, it's gonna take several coats to cover these bright colors and polka dots, um, and it takes a long time to dry. So by doing these balloons from Dollar Tree, it's quick and it's easy. This is um, the white 12 inch, you get 15 balloons in here. And then, depending on how many marshmallows you want to make, just grab you a few of these. So, I made this one right here this morning because we're going to do the little chocolate hair. It takes several hours for this paint up here to completely dry. So just remember that when you're making these. So I'm going to put this one over here. Um, also, <laughs> you're going to need some tape and you're going to see why in just a minute. All right. Y'all, this is so easy. Okay, so each one of these takes three balloons. Now, here's what you do. The neck of the balloon, you do not need that. So, I want you to see this. All right, so here's the trick. You can't cut too high up, and if you cut too far down, it's not gonna to fit right. So I kinda go right, see where it's skinny and it starts to get big? I just kinda go right above that, and then I cut that, all right? Now, you just take it, give you some really good little stretches, okay? And then you just put it right over top of that block, and then you just start pulling it all the way around, just smoothing it out, okay? And then that's what the bottom looks like, but we're gonna fix that, so don't worry about that. Yeah, same thing, you're gonna do this for all three Balloons, about right there. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna give it some good stretches. And once again, I'm gonna go right over top of that dice, or that, I say dice, I know it's a die, but dice. Okay. And I keep putting that at the same spot at the bottom. Okay. So that's two. Now here's our third. Right above that. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. Same step. Stretch it out, give it some good stretches. And I'm gonna put it right over top of that again. Okay, now you see all of those little, all of that is at the bottom. This is why I use the tape. Just some basic old scotch tape. I now, I kind of fold that down. Just get it nice and smooth so our block will sit right. 
and then I just put some tape on it. Okay, and that's at the bottom. You will never see that. So I do two pieces just to kind of make sure. I just kind of do like a little X. And seriously, <laughs> look how easy that is. And if you want, I mean, you can do four balloons, but three, look, you don't see any of that green coming through or any of the little like polka dots on there. All right, we'll go ahead and do one without the chocolate first. So this is very easy and it's whatever you like it to be. All I do, I just take a black Sharpie, just a black Sharpie. And then I'm gonna do just like this one. I'm gonna do like the little crescents, little eyelashes and a little smiley face. And I will do this so that you can see it. Okay. I just try to kind of go, whoops. <laughs> I just put a dot on it. All right, I'll just turn that around. <laughs> I got plenty of sides to work with. All right, so all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a little crescent. Another little one. Right. And then I'm gonna do little dashes for the eyelashes, just like that, okay? Once again, I'm just gonna do some little dashes for its little eyelashes. Look how cute! Now all I'm gonna do, once again, I like some little crescents, I'm gonna do a big smiley face. Okay. Just like that. All right, now this is me like holding it up in the air and my hands are kind of shaky, but do you see how cute that is? Um, obviously when you do it, sit it down. Okay, so now that we have its little face, I like to take some pink paint so I can do like its little blush, like its little cheeks. This is baby pink in folk art. You can use any pink that you have. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take a little fine little paintbrush, just kind of dip it right here in my pink paint. You don't want a lot of paint on here. And then I'm just gonna kinda like dab, just like right, like kinda where its little, little cheeks would be. Just like that, just kinda do both, both sides. You can do this first if you want. Then just let it completely dry for you to do the little smiley face. <laughs> but look how cute. I love these. So we'll leave this one without the hair and chocolate. Now I'm gonna show you how to do one more. Okay. And it doesn't matter what color you use. Like that was a green, now I'm gonna use an orange one. Okay, I'm gonna get three more balloons. Once again, I'm just gonna cut right before you get to like, see how it's skinny before it gets big. I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all three of these. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stretch all of these just like we did that one. Just some good stretches. Stick it right over top of that balloon or that dice. And then once again, I always make sure I end in the same spot at the bottom. Two, all right, we're going for number three right here. So once again, three balloons covered that orange, and so I don't have that right there, and my block will sit, or it will sit flat, I'm gonna do some tape. Like I said, I do two pieces, and I kinda cross them. So I just try to get that together, and kinda flatten it a little bit, and just put my tape on there. That, and then just like this. All right, I'm gonna sit this down, that way I can be a little more stable. But all I'm gonna do, just like that, kind of find my center. I'm gonna do a little crescent, another little crescent. I'm gonna do some cute little eyelashes. And then I'm gonna do just a little, I'm gonna do a big, happy, smiley face. Just like that. And 
if you want, you can be precise and measure everything. Um, I just kind of go with it. So I think this is adorable. So now that we have that, I am going to take that same pink paint and I'm just going to dab on just some little, little cheeks. Okay. See how cute? And if you wanted to, you could probably like take your finger, dip it down the paint, like your pinky or something. And it's kind of like do little dabs for the, for the cheeks. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to add the little like chocolate kind of hair. So I use black puffy paint. You can use brown. I don't have brown. I just always have black. So I just use this instead of going buying more. But this is what the black looks like. I love it. It's shiny. This is like, so this is dry. I made this one right here. It's seven o'clock this morning. It's now 12. So what's that about five hours? And it's dry. So five hours of just kind of sitting here on the counter and it's dry. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Just, if you use puffy paint, just shake it up really good. Make sure you kind of like shake it down too. And you're also gonna need a foam brush. Okay, all I do is take this, the top of it, I just kind of, just kind of go back forth. Just kind of like that. Now I take the foam brush and I slowly just kind of start spreading that out. All that paint I just put on there, I'm just kind of like spreading it out, almost like you're doing like some icing or something. Okay. Then I take it, just kind of gonna go around it, just almost like you're making it like soft, kind of like wavy. All right, <laughs> right now we're looking like Frankenstein, but I'm gonna show you for the drips. Now I take the puffy paint, make sure you get your paint down. Right, now I just start going along, start right here in the corner. I'm slowly just kinda like start squeezing it out. Don't squeeze that a lot because the more you have, the longer it takes to dry. So you can kinda use the tip and just kinda like start blending it. Okay, so I'll just kinda keep going around. I'll come down a little bit more with that drip. Come down and I'm kind of zigzagging a little bit just for that hairline. Okay, I'm gonna come down again. Twist it, I'm gonna come down. And you can do as much chocolate drips as you want. Okay. And I'm gonna come over onto this side. I'm just taking it, just kind of squeezing. I'm dragging it down a little bit. Come down, go up. Look how cute. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take my tip. I'm not squeezing, no more paint's coming out. I'm gonna take my tip though, and I can now use what I squeezed out and kind of just go around if there's any little like little bubbles, kind of fill them in, kind of pop them. Okay, but look how adorable. So cute, we've got the chocolate like hair going everywhere around. Okay, so now this has to sit, like I said, for several hours before you can do anything to it. So just make sure, you know, if you wanna make little hats for this, make them and play with these first. Okay, so like I said, this now has to sit. All right, now to make the cute little hats, little toppers for these, we are gonna use, I always get these at Dollar Tree. Um, it's, you get six of them in here. It's these little mini round bows, and this is like in the fancy kind of plastic that they have, but it's these little bows right here, and they fit these marshmallows. Perfect, it goes right on top. And it also, you have to set them just right, but they will also go on the ceramic ones. Okay. Yeah. Last year, we made this adorable strawberry little topper. And look how cute it looks on them. Seriously, this is like why I love these so much, because look how cute that is. So um, I have a video where we made these. I will link that down below for you. 
So we did a strawberry, a lemon, and a beehive. Now, today we are gonna make a bee topper, a ladybug topper, and another beehive. So for the bee, I have this yellow yarn from Dollar Tree and I have black yarn from Dollar Tree. One of the little bows, you're gonna need hot glue or some double-sided sticky tape, whatever you wanna use. All right, because I don't know how to crochet, all I do is I'm gonna cut a long strand of this black and I'm gonna cut three because I like to braid mine. So I'm just gonna cut three strands pretty much the exact same length of each other. Then what I do is I take those three right there on the end, I'm just now gonna loop it and I'm gonna tie all of those together at the end. And then what I like to do is, so I can like pull it tight, I am just gonna take a little piece of tape, I'm gonna lay it right here on my counter and I'm just gonna kinda like tape that down for me. That way I can kinda like tug and pull. Now all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna braid this. Just a basic braid, just like you would like braid someone's hair. Now, the only frustrating thing is, sometimes as you get to braiding, the bottom, once you kinda like start braiding, so you just have to pull it apart just a little bit. But real quick, we are just going to kind of just loosely. You don't have to do it really tight and pull hard. We're just loosely braiding this. Now we'll braid this all the way down. Okay, see, so look, it's starting to like get braided like right here on me, like I'll twist it up. So I will just pull that, just unbraid that. Just, I'll just untwist all of that. And if you find it's easier to work in shorter like strands, do that too. There is no wrong way to do this right here. Once again, see, I get twisted. So I just pull that. All right, so now that I'm about down here at the end, um, I don't think I need all of this. I cut this really long. I'm just now gonna take right where I ended, I'm now gonna put a little knot right there. So that braid doesn't come undone on me. And then just pull that tight. Okay. So now that is braided. And it's a very loose braid, like I said. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with our yellow. I'm gonna cut three long yellow strands. Okay, this black, like if I hold this up to me. Okay, I have about five foot of this black. So about five feet of this, and I don't think I need all this black. So we'll just kind of see. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow. Like I said, three Long strands. I'm going to kind of measure it to my height. I'm 5'5". Five five. So, y'all, I've never made a bee before. So, this is kind of a little trial and error here. But, I'll figure it out, and then we can do this together. Alright, so now, down here at the end, I'm now going to put another little loop. Alright, so now at the end, I'm going to tie another, just a little knot. Okay, so, now that I have that tied together, I will now... Okay, so I'm going to take this to my counter once again, and I'm taping it like right above the knot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to braid all of this. When Alright, so now that I've braided all of that, I'm now, once again, I'm going to take the end, and I'm just going to loop it around, and I'm going to tie a little knot. Okay, so tie that tight. Alright, now we're going to start making our, our bee. Okay, alright, now we're going to take our, our little bow right here. I'm using my hot glue gun. I'm gonna go ahead, this little excess, I don't need all that, all that excess. I'm gonna cut right above our little knot. All right, so I'm gonna do a little, just a little thin line of hot glue going around the bottom of this. And I'm gonna work in little, little small, little sections. So I'm gonna lay that in there. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly pull and go around the bottom. Careful not to burn yourself. You can use the finger protector from Dollar Tree, or if you have like a popsicle stick, a craft stick, and just kind of push that into that hot glue. So I'm just gonna go around the bottom of this. Like I said, just a little, just a little line of hot glue right along the bottom edge of this little bow. And I'm just laying that yarn right into that hot glue. Trying to like get it on the edge, in that bottom rim. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this all the way over to where we just, to where we just started. Okay. So 
So just a little light line of glue. And I'll just lay that right down into there. All right, I'm not gonna cut that. I think I'm just gonna kind of leave that dangling because now we're gonna do our yellow. Sorry y'all, so I have never done like multiple colors mixing together. So, I mean, this is like, I'm learning this too as we go. Okay. So don't yell at me because like, this is my first time too. But, all right, so I think right back here where I just ended, where I started and ended, I'm gonna do a little line of hot glue and I'm gonna go right above the black. So I'm just gonna do a little line of glue going right above our black yarn. And I'm gonna lay that yellow into our little hot glue. Okay, so just like that. <laughs> Hopefully this turns out cute. But all right, I'm gonna go all the way around this and I'm just gonna do little lines of hot glue. And like I said, I would just keep pushing the yarn into that glue. All right, so got that out of the way. I want my yellow to be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go around again with the yellow. Once again, I'll just go right above it. I'm trying to be really careful and not getting my hot glue into the yarn. Do you see how that's already looking? Okay. And I'm just kind of pushing that down to where they lay right on top of each other. I don't want to have any like big gaps or anything. So it's trying to make them like get as close together as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going all the way around to get back over here on the back side. And you notice I'm not like pulling the yarn really tight. I'm basically just kind of like laying it as I go. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I am now, the black that we did not cut off, I'm now just gonna pull that straight up. I'm gonna do a little line of hot glue, and then I'm gonna go around one time. So this will always be the back side of my hat. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little line of hot glue, going up the back side. Just very little hot glue. Okay, right there. And I'm gonna line right above the yellow. Okay, so you see, I'm gonna pull that straight up the back. I'm gonna try to be as neat as possible with this. All right, so now I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna start to go right above the yellow with it. Okay, so once again, just a little line of hot glue going across top of that yellow without trying to get it into that yellow yarn. And I will just lay that across it. And then just kind of push it down in there and make sure I kind of fill in any gap. Look, look how cute that's already looking. I'm gonna go and put some hot glue all the way around till I get to the back side over here. All right, now that we're back to right here, and I'm now gonna very neatly, I'm gonna pull my yellow up now. I'm gonna do a little dab of hot glue, just right there, just a little bitty dab. That way I can push my yellow into that. Okay. I'm sure there's an easier way of this. I guess the easier way would cut smaller strands and braid and do each one. Or this way we just braided it all at one time. Okay, so now I'm gonna do more of the yellow. Exact same step, I'm just gonna go Put hot glue along kind of the top of that black without touching the black and then just lay the yellow into it until I get around to the other side. All right, so I did one row of the yellow. Now I'm gonna do the black again and I think I'm gonna maybe try to do two rows of the black. All right, so once again, I'm gonna do a little dab of hot glue right there just so I can get my black up and started. Okay, I'm just gonna go around, once again, my hot glue, and go around till we get to the end again, to where we just started. Okay, just a little line of hot glue. Pull that around, and then kind of push it down so there's no gaps. All right, so now that we ended the black, I'm now, once again, I'm gonna pull the yellow 
straight up. I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue. And we'll pull that straight up. All right, I'm gonna keep going with the yellow. Okay, look how cute this is already looking. All right, so now we'll do black again. Same thing we've been doing. I'm just gonna go straight up. So we'll just put a little dab of hot glue right there and come up towards the top. And then I will pull that straight up. Okay, so this is what our back is looking like. Like I said, that's our back. Um, we could have like cut each time, but I'm doing it like this. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do black. Like I said, if you got these finger protectors, use them. If not, use like a popsicle stick, a pencil, something to push that down in there. All right, I'm gonna do another round of black. Oop. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill in the whole top with black. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of hot glue right up here. And then I'm just gonna go around and around and fill in this top with just all the black. Just twist round and round and round to fill that in. Okay, so now that we have that all the way around, now I'm gonna go ahead, we obviously don't need all of this excess anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tie a knot all, so I'm gonna tie a knot, getting down as close as I can to our beehive, or to our bee, and I'll cut off that excess. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow. I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna loop it, Pull that through, and I'm gonna try to get that knot as close to the B as possible. And then I will cut that little excess tail off. Same, the yellow one is a little more obvious, so you can see the little excess tail. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little dab of hot glue, and we're gonna push that down like into the B. Okay, so I like right here, I wanna just take a little, like a little bitty dab of hot glue, take like that popsicle stick and I'm gonna push that down and firm into that glue. See? All right, same thing with this one up here. I'll just do a little dab of hot glue. And then I will now push that little tail where a little nut was and I'll just push that down really firm into that hot glue. <laughs> Look at our little bee. Okay, now we have to like decorate it, make it really cute. I've got pipe cleaners. Now these are from Halloween, but any black pipe cleaners, and you just need one, you don't want it real long. I'm gonna take mine, I'm gonna make it into just like a little V, and then cut that off. All right, so now that we have that cut, okay. it doesn't matter, but this is about four and a half inches. I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna bend it like a V, just like that. And now the little ends, I'm just gonna kinda give them a little curl. Just like a little, little bend, just a little row. So I would just put a little dab, hot glue, right there on the top center. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And I'm gonna push this down into that hot glue. And just try to like hold it upright until that dries. <laughs> Look how cute that is! All right. I have a little white daisy. I love daisies and sunflowers for the summertime. All right, and now I wanna hot glue this onto here somewhere. Maybe like down here at the bottom. Maybe do like right down here at the bottom or up here at the top. I like that. All right, I'm gonna hot glue mine like right up here by this little antennas. I'm just gonna put a bunch of little hot glue right there. And I would just stick that little cute daisy right there. Oh my gosh, I love this! This is so cute! All right, I'm gonna show you the back side. All right, there's my back. Now, is this the best thing ever? No, but <laughs> because I... All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side and now we're going to do the beehive to go with this and then when we're all finished, we'll decorate our little marshmallows with it. All right, for the beehive, take another one of those little plastic bowls. All right, I have the eight foot, uh, 2.43 meter from Dollar Tree. What we're gonna do is, for our beehive, all right, so see, it's taped at the end. I don't need that tape. Actually, I need it undone. So let's see if I can just cut that tape off. Okay, so I got all the tape off. What you want to do is, 
unbraid it. Do not unravel it. Don't completely like shred this apart. But all you're gonna do is just, see, it's just a normal braid. Or just three strands that they have braided. All I'm gonna do is unbraid this. I'm just pulling it apart and unbraiding. Do not take that and like unravel that whole entire little thing right there. You just want to unbraid it. All right, so now we have this completely unraveled into three separate strands. I'm gonna throw those over there and I can make more with those later. But, okay, we're gonna take this. Because I don't want my end to come undone, I'm also going to take, you can do like a little bitty piece of scotch tape or you can do a little hot glue. I'm just going to tape that in together because I don't want it to come unraveled on me. Okay, so just like that. Now, same daggone thing. We are just going to hot glue this all the way around until we get up here to about the top and then I'm gonna show you our next step. And this is a lot easier because you're not mixing two different colors. So just start at the bottom, get you a line of hot glue. Just lay that into it and then just pull it around. Just make sure you know that you're on like kind of the edge. All right, so now I'm back over here where I just started. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little thing of hot glue right here on top of that one. And then I'm gonna go right above that rope. So I'm gonna go up a little bit and then back right on top of that rope that we just did. Okay, so now, once again, I'm gonna do a line of hot glue around this right above the rope and try not to touch it with your hot glue. That way you don't get little like glue marks. All right, so now that we're up here at the top, you see that right there, we're now gonna take another one of the ropes and we're gonna make like the little loop for our beehive. So, just kind of get you, kind of figure out like how big you want your little loop to be. I'm gonna cut that off. All right, so mine is cut at about five inches long. All right, I'm gonna loop it just like that. Now, right here on the top, I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue and I'm gonna hot glue my little loop into that. Okay, so just right here on the top, a bunch of hot glue, just kind of like all right there. And I'm gonna stick that little loop down into that hot glue and I'll just hold that down into that dress. And I'm gonna hold my little loop straight up into the air. All right, now that that is hot glued on there, we're now gonna continue with our rope and we're gonna hot glue all the way around it. We're just gonna completely fill in the top of this. So I'll just kind of move that out of the way a little bit. I'm gonna do some hot glue all right here. I'm gonna push that rope down into that hot glue. Pull that forward. Now I'm gonna put some hot glue all back here. Once again, I'm just gonna loop all of this around into that hot glue. Go over to the side, do the same thing. Just push all that down there into that hot glue. All right, so you see, everything is pretty much covered up but that one little spot right there. I'm gonna cut that off and leaving just a little bit of a till to fill that in. So I'm gonna cut that just like that. All right, so I just kinda cut that off right there because I just have that little piece right there to fill in. So I'll put my hot glue right there. I'm gonna use that popsicle stick and I'm gonna push the end of the rope down into that hot glue. I'm trying to get it to shove all the way down into that glue. And then look what we just made. <laughs> We're not done with this. I mean, seriously, look how cute. All right, now we're gonna take what we just cut off. We're now gonna do like the little, like little doorway, like, like entry to our beehive. All right, so I'm gonna do like a little dab of hot glue. Put my rope down into that hot glue. All right, so just right there. Let that dry really good first. All right, so now that that is dried on there, I'm now gonna do like a hot glue. I'm just gonna glue like a circle, okay? So like right here I started, 
I'm just now going to do a thing of hot glue into a circle. And I'm just going to lay our rope down into the circle that I just made with that hot glue. Kind of pushing it as I go. And then back here where we just started. And if you need to, just kind of take your fingers, kind of pinch it to shape it a little bit. All right, so now where we just ended, I'm gonna cut that off as close as I can. Okay. I'm kind of afraid that my rope's gonna start like unraveling right there. So like at the bottom of it, I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue, just kind of into that rope. And it's kind of, and then just kind of push that. So I'm just basically just kind of hot gluing the ends of that rope together. Ah, all right, so now I have a black paint marker. You could also just use basic black paint, but I'm now just gonna like color the inside of this little like bead door black. Using a paint marker, you just have great control. And all you do, you just shake it up really good. And then if you press down, it releases paint. And I can just color and fill that in. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna do like honey. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm just gonna squeeze out some hot glue right there. I'm gonna have it come in like dribbling down all the way to the bottom. And maybe just kind of like pulling right here. All right, so just like that, I'm now, I want you to see that up close, what I just did. See, I did like hot glue, just like right in there, like right on the edge of that rope, and I have some kind of coming down too. I'm gonna, we're gonna let this dry. All right, while we're waiting for this hot glue to completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take, I have this black and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree. I love gingham ribbon. I'm just gonna tie a little bow, like right here around the top, right here at the bottom of our little loop that we just put on there. So I just kind of looped it around the bottom of that. And I'm just gonna tie just a basic cute little bow, or like, just like you would tie your shoes. Okay, and then I always like cut the ends at a little angle. <laughs> See, just add a little cute little bow on there. Look how cute that is. All right, so now that the hot glue is completely dry, I'm now gonna take, I have um, some Waverly chalk paint. This is from Walmart. This is the color Maze. You can use any yellow that you want. And we're gonna paint everywhere where the hot glue is, we're gonna paint that yellow like it's the honey coming out. So I'm just using a fine little paintbrush and I'm gonna paint anywhere where there was hot glue and it's kind of like going to like inside too. This, oh my goodness, look how cute. Okay, this is three coats of Waverly chalk paint, which in the color Maze. Um, I love it, look how cute that is. Now, we have these little bees. So um, if you've not seen it, I got these little bees and some ladybugs. I got 120 I got 120, I got 60 bees, 60 ladybugs for like $8 on Amazon. So I'll link those down below for you. But what it is, they are little wooden bee. Look how cute that is. See how cute that is? It's a sticker. So the back is a little sticker. And we also have little ladybugs that we've been using. So I'm gonna use this right here. All you do, you just pull off the little back little sticker and I'm gonna attach these little bees onto our little honeycomb, our little beehive. And like I said, it's a sticker. So all you have to do is just stick it on there. If you want for a little extra security, you can put a little dab of hot glue onto the back of it. But all I do, I just kind of press down firm. Look at that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put a couple on here. Right, I'm gonna stick one like up here too, like it's about to come down into the, it's trying to get to the honey. 
I like doing things in three. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna put it, I think, like right up here at the top, kind of like up here by the bow. Like once again, it's trying to get down there to the honey. But look how adorable that is. <laughs> I love the little bee have. All right, now we're gonna do our ladybug. All right, for our ladybug, we are gonna take the Premier Just Yarn from Dollar Tree. Um, it's just as the color red. So red and then that same black we just used for the bee. Um, once again with this, I went ahead, that way this video isn't forever for you. All right, so I just went ahead and braided this really fast. Um, this is like five and a half, close to six feet tall. Um, I then, I, went, I took the black and I just did, this one right here is about 15 inches long. Um, and then I cut some small ones. These are gonna be for like our polka dots. I cut these at some at six inches, some at seven inches. I did one at four inches and let me tell you, it was really hard. It wasn't hard to braid, but it was really hard to loop the ends to tie it. So, hopefully, yeah, look. <laughs> look how little this one is. This was like the four inch one. We are gonna try something different on this one. Instead of doing hot glue, we are gonna try double sided tape. This is from Dollar Tree. Now you can do the hot glue, but I thought let's try this as like a different option because first off, we are just gonna cover this whole thing in the red. Now there will be a point where we're gonna need the hot glue gun, but right now, I'm just gonna take this double-sided tape. Um, I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna press it down. And then once I get to the end, I'll rip that off. And I'm just gonna keep kinda going all the way around this little bow. Just kind of doing some little spaces in between. And then this way, we won't have to worry about like, you know, not burning yourself or... Okay, so you see, that is now all the way around. It's wrapped. All right, so now I will peel the top layer and reveal all the stickiness. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and just peel up. It's easier like kind of like start at the bottom and just peel up, like I said, um, Peeling these off reveals all the sticky part of it. Okay. And I think this is gonna be a lot faster applying versus once again, like the hot glue. All right, so now that all of my stickiness is exposed, all right, now I'll take this. I'm gonna start into the stickiness and I'm just gonna go all the way around and I can just lay that into that little sticky tape and just press it as we go. And there's no way that we're gonna like hurt and burn ourselves doing this. So I've already, <laughs> all right shoot, I already kind of noticed right here, I'm gonna have to do a little dab of hot glue because if not, it's gonna do that. You know, I don't wanna have any kind of gap. So just right there, like at the end, I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue. I'll pull that over and then into that hot glue. All right, but now once again, I will just go right back and attaching this into all of that sticky tape. Oh geez, <laughs> that was almost six feet tall. Geez, okay. Just make sure, like I said, that when you get to the stickiness that you push it into that sticky tape. All right, well, that just ended. <laughs> so now I have to braid some more of the red. I'm not gonna do that long. Um, uh, I guess maybe like, let's say maybe like two or three feet. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna take this red. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. All right, to start a new one, I'm just gonna go right here where I just ended in that little knot. I'll just put a little dab of hot glue right there. And then I'll just lay this down into that hot glue. Try to match those up. Try to match up those two ends as close as possible. All right, and now we will just keep going around and pushing that right into our, our double-sided tape. 
So we're gonna loop around. Y'all, this may be just enough. I don't know, hold on, I gotta like fill this in. Okay, eh, look right there. All right, so I'm gonna keep twisting this down to fill in that circle and this is like perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make another little knot because I'm gonna have to cut all that off. I'm not gonna need that. Okay, so I got, made a little knot right there. I will now cut the top of that knot. And now I'm gonna use a little thing of hot glue right there, like in that center, that little hole. I'm just gonna put some hot glue in there. I'll use my popsicle stick and I'm just going to twist that around and push that down there into that hot glue. All right, let me tell you, this double-sided tape, I highly recommend this. Uh, yeah, if you're doing like one color, I recommend using this double-sided tape. You will still need a hot glue gun though for other things. Okay, so now we're gonna add our little like polka dots. Now I have like a spot right here where I had to like hot glue the two different ends together. So I definitely, I'm thinking I'm gonna start right there so I can cover up that little hot glue that I messed up on. All right, I think like, okay, once again, I've never done this before. I've never done like a polka dots or anything. So I think I'm just gonna do hot glue. Just kind of go like right, kind of like do like a circle with the hot glue. And I'm gonna put the black into it. And I'm just gonna twist around into like a circle. Just kind of keep looping it. And just kind of go around and around. And then push that into that hot glue. Ooh, yeah, look, that worked. <laughs> I almost forgot. We are gonna take the black, the one that was like, um, it was like 12 to 15 inches long. We are gonna go around the bottom and hot glue this around the bottom. I completely forgot about that. So I'm gonna start back here where I very first started. I'll put a little thing of hot glue just right there. So I can start that. And I'm just gonna go along the bottom. And I'm not gonna do a hot glue all along the bottom because I do not wanna mess up our pretty little hat here. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit of hot glue like right there. And I'll just kind of pull that over into it. Dab that into there. I'll come over here a little bit. Once again at the bottom, I'm just gonna do a little line of hot glue. I'll then pull that around right there into it. Okay, we're coming to the back side. All right, so like I said, this was, this was like 12 to 15 inches. So, okay, right here. Just kind of go ahead and finish that up. All right, I did, not <laughs> I did not think to tie off my little tail. So I'm just gonna loop this around because it's not a lot. And just right over here, I'll just do a little thing of hot glue. And just push my end up into that. All right, so we got a polka dot there. Maybe we'll do one like right down here. So once again, I'll just do just a dot and just like a, like a circle. Just kind of do a rounded thing of hot glue. See, I did that. And now I'll just take this, once again, push it in there, and I'm just going to loop around. Just keep look going around it. Just keep looping around. Now we'll push that into that hot glue. That is so cute. <laughs> yeah, I get tickled when things like turn out. Oh my goodness. All right, so I guess we'll maybe like come up here. I'm just gonna go once again, circle, go around in a circle. Right. I'm put that in it, and I'm just going to, just looping it around really tight. I don't know if it's like a pinwheel. Is that how would you, would you say like that shape is when you just kind of keep looping it around? All right, so now I'm gonna take, um, the rest of that pipe cleaner that we use for the B, just bend that, just kind of making it into a V shape. I'm gonna take my little ends and I'm just gonna kind of give them a little curl. Ha! Just like that. 
And then I'm gonna do a little. All right, so kind of decide like where you're, you want your front to be. Now that I have that, I'm gonna put hot glue right down there in the center of our little hat. And then I'm gonna stick our little antennas right down into that hot glue. And I'm pushing kind of firm down in there. Oh my goodness, all right, I'm gonna add another little daisy. I'm gonna cut the, the back of that little stem off. And then I'm gonna hot glue it up here by the antenna, just like we did the bee. I'm just gonna put a little hot glue right up here by the antenna. And I'm gonna stick this adorable little daisy right there in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her ladybug. That is adorable. All right, now let's take our little marshmallow people. So this is the one that we made without the chocolate, obviously. Um. This is the one I made this morning, so it's nice and dry. All right, since we have three hats, I have two, the ones that we did, and then I have just my little one. All right, let's do the little ladybug right here. All right, let's take the little ladybug hat on. We'll do our little beehive. <laughs> our little beehive, and now our adorable little bee. Oh my goodness, look at those. Okay, oh my gosh, do you see how adorable these are? I am so happy that we just made these because <laughs> I think they're so cute. Um, now just remember, I have never made anything like the um, ladybug or bee before. I've always just done like one solid color. So kind of mixed in this one especially, um, I wasn't exactly sure how to do it, so like I said, mine, I kind of neatly, very cleanly, I went up the back, but you could do yours just in different strips if you wanted. But it turned out so cute. And then the ladybug, using the double-sided tape, that was so fast. It really like saved a lot of time. Um, and then just adding the little, little polka dots and stuff to it. I love it. <laughs> and then y'all, these little pipe cleaner antennas is adorable. And of course, I had to add some little daisies to mine. You don't have to do that, or you could do sunflowers if you want. But I just think they're so cute, and they're so much fun to decorate with. Um, so kind of inspiration, my friend from ZNC Designs, they sent me this little bee, and it was so cute. So it kind of like was like inspiration. So I have always decorated with like bees, um, but now this year I was like, I really know ladybugs too. All right, so if you didn't see it, we made these little like benches, stools, risers, whatever you want to do with them. We made these in a video. We did like a bee, a ladybug, but nothing is permanent on it. So when you're done with it, you can just kind of like change it for the different holidays and seasons. But look how cute it would be if we um, put our little ladybug like on this one over here. <laughs> I love it. And then we got a little beehive we can put over here by our little bee. Oh shoot, that's still wet. Yeah, <laughs> that one's still a little wet. Yeah, remember, these take several, five, six, seven hours to completely dry. So I just kind of bumped this one a little bit. But, but I love all of these. I think they're so cute. Like I said, I do not know how to crochet. So um, I wanted little hats though. I wanted cute little hats on a budget. So I have, I figured out the best way that I could, and that was by these little bows, and then just braiding. Now, if you watch, if you're interested in, like in the strawberry, there's a lemon and another beehive. Um, in that video, I didn't know, I just started wrapping the twine. You know, so this right here, it's just wrapped a bunch around it. So I kind of figured out if I braided it, like if I braided my strands, it kind of gave it a little more of a texture and somewhat of a crochet look so that's why we braid it but like i said in this video i didn't know to do all that so i was just wrapping it but we also have and if you get obsessed with these like i am we have one that we did for the fall it was so cute we did a, we did pumpkins we did a pumpkin pie and the pumpkin pie is absolutely adorable and we are going to do so many more for different holidays and seasons and then we just did a diy using spoons 
like mixing spoons and stuff from Dollar Tree. We did clothespins of bees and ladybugs and it was so cute. I have it sitting on top of my stove right now, both of them, because it's so cute. But um, I'll link all those videos down below for you. And also like at the end of this video, you can just click on the picture. But <laughs> all right, um, let me know which one is your favorite. I love them all. I think they're so cute. I think I'm gonna have to say the ladybug because I don't have a ladybug. So I just, I love it. I think that just turned out too cute. But yeah, these are fun and we are gonna do tear trays too. So um, we can use these to decorate our tear trays with. So I'm excited for that. That will probably be next week. But all right, so if you like these, uh, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the little bell. That way you're notified for all of the things that we do together. But, all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.